Hey, good morning. Welcome back to Mark's Garage Channel. I got the uh, seat carcass up here on the table. I'm going to do some work on that this morning because of what I scored yesterday and what you'll see in the rest of this video. But I also want to show you something here. I'm going to reverse this and I, you got to check this out. I picked up these stickers yesterday. They came in the mail from English Charlie over in the UK. He sent me three different styles of his. And of course, I found a place for Tony's Hot Rod Garage instead of just pinning it to the wall. But Charlie, he's got three of these uh, great designs, really creative. So I'm trying to figure out which one I like best to leave up there. And I was going to take the other two down and put it to a vote. But instead, I'm going to probably leave them all up there because I like them so much. But uh, if you have a preference, let me know in the comments. At least uh, maybe give me something to think about. And without further ado, I'm going to plan is today is to strip this down down to the carcass and then uh, get all the rust and stuff off of it and we'll see how that goes just wrapping up uh, six hours on the road uh, three hours up and back had to go through Rhode Island up to Massachusetts picked up these seat tracks from a guy named Tony gave them to me at a really good price he's got a sweet 54 Chevy with a big block in it which I posted a short of but He's going to be really helpful for me to get this seat done. Let me show you this. This is the carcass of the seat. I got to figure out how to get this back off and take it up to uh, an upholstery guy and get it redone. I haven't found the upholsterer yet, but the track goes right here this way. I have no idea why they would have taken these off. Well, I do have an idea of why, but. I'll show you that in a second that fits on there really nice so I can at least put this carcass on without the pads and test it out hey I got to show you this this is some more of the uh, butchery that occurred on this truck in, in the past see these these are supposed to be nuts under here and it looks like instead of taking the seat pad off so you can reach down and take the nuts off they just put a pry bar under here and Pull the nuts right through those holes so i'm going to hammer that back in place make sure the holes are round and you know only a quarter inch in diameter to fit these quarter 20 uh studs and put real bolts in there and then i'm going to set the seat on seat carcass on there and i believe there's a connecting rod or a wire that connects this mechanism to the same mechanism on that side for the sliding the seat forward and backwards so Keep you posted on that. I want to take this skirt off. And I'm looking at these bolts or these screws. They're the uh, clutch head screws. So I'm wondering if this is a seat out of a Chevy, maybe. This is the first time I've encountered these type of screws in this truck. And I, got, I think I gotta go buy a special tool to try to get those out. Wow, I'm gonna be at this a while. But it's coming off pretty good. It's cleaning up that, a lot of it's just dirt, but rust and dirt are coming off. I'll have to hit it with the uh, Rust-Oleum primer, and then the uh, anodized bronze color. It's just gonna take a while. So I went at this for about two hours. Came out pretty good. Not quite ready for primer yet, but I'm getting there. But uh, I want to say thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe. I'm picking up subscribers every day and really thankful for it. And then uh, next week the water pump should be coming back and put that in and fire that up and see if we can get it to come up the temperature. Thanks for watching.